friends and welcome back to another story time online from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Miss Melissa and today we're going to be talking about bedtimes. But first let's sing our hello song. We're going to sing the more we get together and we're going to sing the first verse twice and we're going to use some sign language with it. The signs we're going to use are more, together, happier, and friends. All right let's sing. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, friends, have you ever heard the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Well, now you will. All right. Once upon a time, in a far-off woods, in a little wooden house, there lived three bears. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. They lived happily in their house, eating porridge and going about their day. Well, on this day, their porridge was way too hot. So they decided to go for a walk while it cooled off. While our bears were off on their hike, along came a little girl named Goldilocks. She was hot and tired and hungry from walking along in the woods for so long that day. So she saw the house and decided she would go and ask if she could come in and rest for a little bit. She knocked on the door. There was no one home. So Goldilocks decided to go in all by herself and see if she could rest there before she moved on. Should Goldilocks have done that? No, that's not a good idea. But she did it anyway. Once she got inside the house, she was hungry. She saw that there was food on the table. First she tried the big bowl, Papa Bear's bowl. It was too hot. Then she tried Mama Bear's bowl. It was too sweet. Yuck. Then she tried Baby Bear's bowl. It was just right and she ate it all up. After Goldilocks finished all of Baby Bear's porridge, she was really tired so she thought she would rest in one of the comfy chairs she saw in the living room. First she tried Papa Bear's chair. It was too hard. Then she tried Mama Bear's chair. It was too soft. Then she tried Baby Bear's chair. It was just right. But Goldilocks was too big for Baby Bear's chair. And she shouldn't have sat in it because it broke. Oh, poor baby bear. First his porridge, then his chair. What's Goldilocks going to do next? Goldilocks was still really tired even after breaking baby bear's chair. So she went into the bedroom and decided to try sleeping in one of the beds. First she tried Papa Bear's bed. It was too hard, just like his chair. So she moved on. Next, she tried Mama Bear's bed. It was too soft, just like Mama Bear's chair. So she moved on. Then she saw the last little bed. It looked perfect, not too hard, not too soft. And so she got in and she fell fast asleep. The three bears came home from their hike in the woods to see if their food was going to be ready. They walked in the door and Papa Bear said, oh, 
Someone's been eating my porridge. Mama Bear said, Someone's been eating my porridge too. Baby Bear said, Someone was eating my porridge and they ate it all up. Poor Baby Bear. Papa Bear looked. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear looked. Someone sat in my chair too. Baby Bear looked and saw that oh, someone sat in my chair and broke it. Poor Baby Bear. First his porridge, then his chair. What next? The bears went into their bedroom. Papa Bear said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear said, oh, Someone's been sleeping in my bed too. Baby Bear said, oh, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there. That woke Goldilocks up. She was so embarrassed and felt so bad. She jumped up, she apologized, and ran away, promising to never ever enter into anyone's home or take anything without asking again. Did you like the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? I hope so. It's a fun story. All right, since we're talking about bedtimes today, I thought we'd sing a good song that's good for bedtimes. It's called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can you join me? All right, get your stars out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So, Every bedtime should include a good bedtime routine. Do you know what a routine is? A routine is something that you do every day. And a good bedtime routine includes brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, washing your face, maybe picking out your clothes for the next day. But it should also include reading a good book or two. And so I have a couple of suggestions here. Our first book is called The Big Bed. And it's by Bunmi Laditan and illustrated by Tom Knight. In this book, a little girl decides that three is a little bit of a crowd. And she is enjoying sharing her bed with her parents, the big bed. However, it's a little crowded in there with Daddy, so Daddy has to go. Do you think she's going to get her way? Do you think Daddy's going to have to get his own bed? You're going to have to read it to find out. Our next book is called The Yawns Are Coming, and this is by Christopher Iliopoulos. And it's about two best friends that are having their very first sleepover. They have lots of adventures planned, and they want to stay up all night to get it all done. However, the yawns are coming. Find out if they're going to be able to stay up all night long. These books will be available for checkout at the library. All right, friends, that's all I have for you today. So let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. On another day. Bye, friends. See you next time.